Skip Barber, updated, improved version of the Skip Barber. And we're here at beautiful Road America to be my first race with the updated, all new and improved back by popular demand Skip Barber and its fancy new tires. Now with more data. No. Hey, Jess Brony, good to see you. Remember the last time Matt did skips here? Uh-oh, what happened? So here we go, standing start, 10 laps. Uh, new tire model, then they fixed the tire model, then they fixed the fix on the tire model, then there was a hot fix on the fix that fixed the tire model. I don't know what the hell's going on. All I know is that it feels quite different, really, than what I'm used to as far as the Skip Barber. It feels better, that's for sure, but it's going to take some getting used to. Here we go. Wow. What a gecko. Kind of reckless thing for the six months. Here we go, guys. Use the draft. Watch out on your left. I don't want to make Both it three wide here now. Cold tires. T bone. Go right, left. Three wide. Clear on the left. Fucking <sighs> three wide. So long, Muppet. Someone's a Muppet. All right, we avoided that. We need to do avoid that. can't control your car. Don't go three wide. Car on your right. See the new tires? I think we got extra there. grooves wow. in them. Wow, what a gaggle. Hold your line. OMG, what a long-term gaggle member of Still him. there. You are clear on the right. Hernandez is now in the lead. Fifty-five months for Perseus. Can we get some GTB Moseses in the chat? Thank you, buddy. That's insane. We had to catch these guys. Controllable slip angle with this this new tire model. I've noticed the Car just kind of keeps turning like even in this carousel. It's just it's like controllable oversteer. I don't know Could be a setup Careful on the kink Careful it really wants to break loose like it You can just keep turning and the car will just it's like a slow oversteer situation, and then, and then you just spin out eventually. You gotta be careful. Wow, what a gaggle. Getting the slipstream. Wow. Magic Triple Five. Thank you for the 26 months, man. I appreciate it. Second gear for Canada. Okay. Dude, don't make any moves, man. We're trying to catch him. Okay, Matthew. Come on. Stay focused. Apexes and exits. Apexes and exits. Right side. Right side is clear. Eighth place. She's up here. I let him by. I don't want to go two by two. Right side. We are clear on the right. Maybe a little uh, slingshot here to catch the pack. You got a car on your right side. Hold your line. Still there. Clear on the right. Well done, fella. He's on your left. Of course he is. He's still there. Yeah, we're not gonna catch him. Still this there. Way. Hold your line. Incident in turn five. It looks like Johnson. He's still there. Clear on the left. Sergio, I'm not playing with you. I'm just waiting. Oh, 
It's that off steer over, off throttle oversteer is what you experience with this car. You almost just need a little bit of throttle going through some of these corners, just keep it stable. Off steer over throttle, yes. <laughs> okay, Matthew, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. tough to catch especially if we're bad on it all we need to work together me and Paul here the leader has just done a 234.28 the guy in front has just done a 234.47 sixth place I get caught out here in no man's land, I have zero chance. I need Paul to help. Paul's faster than me? It doesn't look like it. Wow. Hello, N A L O N E R. Go bottle. What are you doing? Tires are starting to come in. Super lime. Thank you, buddy. Two times, man. Two times. Woo! I can't tell. I have a question. Congratulations. He's like sliding through there. I'm losing time. Come on, Paul, let's do this, buddy. Top five still in the cars, they'll bottle it. They need to start battling. The leader's just done a 233.33. The guy ahead's lap time is a 233.24. And if we didn't go side by side for that turn or so, might have been with these guys. going away.
When can I go full throttle? Here. Oh shit. Not yet. Oh, what's the that? Now watch it, mate. Guess that I was going to wreck. what's wrong with your spring perch offset. Yeah, I'm on two SPO. I'll never catch them in the, if they're race, racing in a line like that. Next lap's full throttle for sure there. I reattached my feet, yeah. Feels like this version of the tire model is just way more nimble. It's like you can do way more. This, this Skip Barber used to be kind of just no real character to it. There's a lot of it just didn't seem alive, and now it feels like you're really driving it. You can really feel what the car is wanting to do. You can really you know what's going on. You're really driving it. You connect to the road more. It's easier to overdrive now for sure. Which is not, you don't want to get sucked into that trap. Connected to the grass. We're truly in a bubble. He failed on it. The gap in front is now. I was gonna give him room if the spotter said anything. I was just gonna let him through. Yeah, they first put the new tire model on this thing, and 
Man, I got a lot of hate, man. John Henry himself. Yes. Yes, John Henry himself weighed in on the topic publicly on the iRacing forums, and huh, what do you know, there's an update a week later. Yeah. B6, I think I'm behind us now. 3.1 seconds. God bless John Henry, though. I tell you, if it wasn't for John Henry, we wouldn't have iRacing. 100%. He funded it. He was losing money. It's a labor of love, really. John Henry's not hammering in the mountains. He's making racing sims. Hey, race driver, what's up, man? The guy ahead's last lap time is a 232.95. Yeah, the famous Oscast is in chat. Don't worry, they're gonna start battling soon. They can't help themselves. Wednesday nights, uh, Perseus. It's Wednesday nights and some other night they do GT1s. Remember when the Skip Barbie was like, Barber, bar Barbie, Skip bar Barber, the Skippy was like driving a train through soup. High racing fans remember, yeah. It was a split pea soup, I believe. There's a freebie. Oh, flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. Oh, There's an incident in. Turn five. Yeah! I'll hit you again. Just watch me. We well, got some damage here. You know I'm going for the going for the pass. Watch your right. Hold your line. Hold your line. You're clear right. You need to push it. Man, you just put this thing wherever you want it. Nice Eating one, chips and nice. watching nice Matt run. Malone won't get any better. Eh, unless you had some dip for those chips. Eh, life can always be better. You don't want to spoil yourself, though. Hey, checkers, what's up, man? That was barely a lift. 24 hours from right now is GT1. There you go. Oh, that was the leader that got taken out. This little skip barber does pretty well for itself, I'd say. I'm impressed though, really. I mean, like I said, this is the first time I've driven this in a real race since the final update for it. Brings all new life into this thing. I mean, I, I still haven't, I still don't have any legs, but I'll let it slide. Beautiful day. Oh, there's the iRacing blimp. Oh, that's beautiful. This is great. Come on, keep nailing those. Fourth. Chips, dips, chains, and whips, along with a little, was on the nips. Oh, my God. Why is the eye flag lit up? Must have been something going on. Hey, Braxis. The gap behind is now 2.8 seconds. A guy that you would want to get his opinion on how the Skip Barber is is someone uh, by the goes by the name of name of Dennis Johansson. 
He's like a skip barber god. He would know. I'd love to get his opinion on it. Full throttle. Oh, you're golden. Is that right? If you ever want to watch a Skip Barber race uh, from the front of the pack, watch Dennis's stream. <laughs> you guys unbelievable. One gallon remaining. I'm a little wide there. Things are gonna heat up. Two more laps to go. Two more laps to go. These guys are. Uh, it looks like the leader is a couple seconds ahead, but the battle for second is uh, neck and neck. Two laps remaining. setup now I can't remember GT3 where's the VRS challenge at Donnington Donnington you guys want to do that next thank you since our IMSA race didn't go so well getting a good GT race Brain fart. Oh, this guy screwed up. Something's going on. He's losing time. He may have a puncture. I think it's an oil leak. Something's going wrong with the number three car. GT3 in the Ford. Oh, no. Seven seconds. Yeah, and catch him. Maybe get damaged. Car's capable of doing more. Braking late, throttle early, more grip through the corners. It's amazing. Alright, white flag! It's easy to get this thing into like a, a slip angle situation, but you don't want to thrash it around too much and you lose way too much speed. So you, you do want to be nice and smooth. and smooth. Oh my God. 
catching this guy. Not, not enough, though. Hey, Tanner, how did the IMSA race go? Are you going to do GT3 in seven minutes? Whoa, touch the grass. The gap ahead is now 3.1 seconds. Half a gallon of fuel remaining. Yeah, I am doing GP3. Yeah, Tanner, I uh, screwed up the chicane. That was really embarrassing, to be honest. <laughs> Fifth gear? It's good. It's a good choice. Real good choice. <laughs> Black dog. Oh god, V stars. I wouldn't want him to do that. Only fourth AI racing. What's up? Well, you know, it was my first time using the. This tire model. Oh, Haven't got it all figured out yet, Mike. Well it does feel really good, though. I'm actually pretty damn impressed. The car has life. Who was the guy at the start that screwed everybody? I don't know, but I was a victim of that as well. Feels, um, if, if... How do I put this? If, if, if you're going to compare uh, tire models to uh, m uh, malleable metals, I would say that this tire model is more on the lines of gold as far as how malleable it is. You know, you can, you can really just put the car where you want it. it it's very custom to uh, your, your, how you want to drive. It's very malleable. Okay. And the old tire model is more like, uh, maybe like, a, 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 what, what's less malleable? Maybe like a nickel? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh, man. But it just feels like you're in more control of the vehicle. You, you see a spot where you want to put the car and you can put it there, right? Before, it was more like, well, let's see what happens, right? Because sometimes the car would just plow. It would just be very unpredictable. Um, and that's what made it... I mean, I don't know how good I'm going to be with this tire model. Not, no more better than before. But there's always that sense of like, I don't know. But it seems like this one is... is You can control your car better. Just ask this guy. And I think, I think because of it, we're gonna see much better, closer racing, and uh, more T-bones. You know that's part of it too. Cold tires are definitely an issue with this thing, though. Look at this guy. Yeah, well, yeah, you lock him up like that. Um, but man, on a warm tire, this thing is really nice. But that's what. That's what, I, I mean. I don't know. I've never raced in real life, but I would imagine. Yeah, I'm not bad at it. Just getting going off of cold tires with these cars. I mean, it's a. It's different. You have to drive different. You got to drive more conservative. So I would imagine that it reflects real life where throughout the race, the dynamics of the car are changing due to the tires. So. I have no idea what malleable is. <laughs> oh, like metal. You can move it around, shape it. You can shape it. Uh, what am I doing? So yeah, I mean, the Skip Barber, it's always been a great car, a very popular car. And I think, um, based on that one race, I think they've done, done good. They've done real good, okay? Donington's coming up. Ferrari, baby. Let's take a look at those results. I gained 25 I rating, and I gained 0 .02 safety rating. Well, isn't that great? Wonderful.